for a pope or a shortcut to the West, you might be surprised what you'll find in KCK. Tom Christensen shows us in places to go. Looking for fun in Kansas City, Kansas isn't as big a gamble as you may think. If you're into games of chance, there's the 7th Street Casino in the heart of downtown. If you think bigger is better, there's the Hollywood Casino on KCK's Western Edge. Right next door is the Kansas Speedway for some of the fastest entertainment in town. But now let's slow it down a bit. What you get is a sense of stepping back into the 1850s and the pioneer on the prairie here in Wyandotte County, Kansas. This this is the home of Amos and Ann Grinter, who ran the first ferry on the Kansas River. Charging 50 cents a head and $2 for a wagon, Grinter's ferry was important to the entire economy. Travelers would come and cross Grinter's ferry as a shortcut through Leavenworth and catch the Oregon Trail north. So you have the beginnings of the commerce. There's also a lot of commerce here. But the Legends doesn't just cater to super shoppers. You can actually learn something here. This is Amelia Earhart. She's a native of Atchison, Kansas. She's one of 80 tributes we pay to Kansas legends at Legends Outlets. Learning about the people, places, or things that are featured throughout the shopping area is really easy. You can take an audio walking tour for free. You can come up to customer service and check out this headset. But let's face it, with over 60 stores and more than 30 restaurants, the Legends is about food, fun, and shopping. Finally, our last stop, the Strawberry Hill Museum and Cultural Center. The Queen Anne style house, once the home of attorney John Scruggs, shows how the wealthy lived in the late 1800s. Right. So they incorporated all the three signs of wealth for that time period. The stained glass windows, the um, solid oak woodwork, and the tower room. The museum focuses on the Croatian culture, but has nine rooms representing other ethnic groups in the Strawberry Hill area. The yeah. Polish room even has a tie to a past pope. This is the bed that was built by a uh, retired TWA employee. Uh, he built the bed to be placed in a TWA plane for Pope John Paul II. You can find more information on all these places on our webpage, kshb.com. Tom Christensen, 41 Action News.